Okay, so you can see that I've got my router open and obviously I've got a net gear. If you have a different router, the locations of your um, what you need will probably be in a slightly different location uh, and the configuration might be slightly different but the principle is the same on all routers. So on this Netgear what, we, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for this port forwarding. Okay so in here you can see I've got a bunch of port forwards already so but what we need to do is we need to go and add a new one for um, the own cloud and, and the NAS for free if you want to access it remotely. So in here I go um, I want to add a custom service um, put in a service name I'm just let's say own cloud 6 and the port number I want is sorry in here is this port number to access um, the own cloud because that's for the web server so you've got to remember that port number and put that so I'm going to go starting point in this case I'm just going to go starting at 8080 and ending at 8080 the server IP is the server IP of your NAS system so mine is the default 192.168.1.250 so you put 250 in here and apply so you can see in here now I've got my cloud 6 port 8080 um, and it'll point to the IP address of that server and so you can just go in and do it do exactly the same thing using port 443 for your NAS as you can see I've already got one here pointing to my um, my NAS here it's a different IP so you're not going to see that but um, point that IP to your current NAS and, that, and that's pretty much it in terms of um, the, the router and port forwarding that should be it okay so one other thing to check is your external IP um, the next year if to find out what your IP address is if you go to AD basic settings it'll tell you your IP address here okay so I've logged in um, to a remote computer somewhere else um, just to show you I've done an IP config and this is running on a totally different network as you can see there um, it's actually running server 2012 so to log in back into my um, port number slash the cloud directory and it's saying you're about so it's warning you you're about to view pages of a secure connection which is good um, and information you exchange with this site cannot be viewed by anyone else which is what we want so because it's a self-issuing uh, certificate um, it's just giving you a warning and you just continue to this website and there you have it it's asking for us to log on I'm just gonna and that's it we've logged in remotely into our own cloud um, which is running on the NAS um, via HTTPS as you can see up there we are logged in securely into our own um, own cloud. So that pretty much covers it. Um, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.